Let's first click the Live View button to stream our camera's live view to the program. We will next place our object in our camera's field of view. Camera settings can be changed through mouse clicks and in real time, the Live View window will simulate the exposure. Now we can go ahead, predefine a crop marker around our subject and hit Snap. As you can see, the image is instantly uploaded to the program into the thumbnail viewing gallery at the bottom. As you can see, we can define to export images to an application. On this computer, we have the images defaulted to be opened with Photoshop. We can also choose to send images directly to a folder and can predefine our naming. Should we require, we can instantly resize an image by defining a pixel width or height. In this case, we will choose 1500 pixels wide. Users can also define image resolution. The default is 96 dpi, however, options of 72, 150, and 300 dpi can be set. And last, users can instantly have a watermark, that is your own company logo, stamped on the image to any location that you desire. Images can also be sent to an FTP site of your choice. Now that we have predefined our auto image transfer settings, let's go ahead and snap another picture. This is done by re-enabling the live view, then clicking the snap button. After we confirm image quality, simply rename the image and hit save. This will transfer the image directly to the third party application of your choice. Again, in our example we are sending these images directly to Photoshop. Let's take a couple more images to view the efficiencies of the Shutterstream program. As you can see, the crop markers and camera settings that were previously set are retained from shot to shot to ensure for imaging consistencies. Now that we have captured the desired angles of our product, we will simply proceed with editing and output through our third party application. Shutterstream is a great tool that can be used as an image capture plugin for any third-party imaging application.